Good morning. We is at large. We're out again. Sunday morning. It's a new forest ride. Blooming cold. Three degrees, something like that. Right, back out. Super cold around the face just at the moment, but um, thinking it's gonna, gonna warm up, let's hope. It's supposed to be cloudy, so we can't rely on the sun, unfortunately. My uh, cycle cap didn't make it in. So I'm actually wearing a normal sort of baseball style cap. <laughs> so, uh, which is fine, you know, it's kind of working. But of course the brim is slightly too long and doesn't fold up. But I can see where I'm going, which is the main thing. Everyone, out of their seats, getting to the top. <laughs> oh yes, everything's a lot cleaner and drier today. We found gravel! Yay! Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> she said Tour de France. <laughs> Fast start to the ride? Yes, I was just thinking, having done some riding in the woods. The oh no, route, no comparison. This is a very different. Route. No comparison. Yeah. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder whether I'm on the right ride. Ah oh, no, I shall usually be at the back, so don't worry. We won't stay at this speed. Well, I know there's a climb. This is the ride I tend to do. So. Is it? So you know the route? Well, I know this bit. <laughs> I think people were keen to warm up. Yeah. First puncher of the ride. Let's hope it's the last. Check this out. What a bike. The old tough road. Love it. We got a warm up all over again. Thank you. So a good turnout today. One puncher, I think it's been dealt with. Heading up to Hampton Ridge and uh, out towards Verwood Forest, I believe. A bit more panoo required. So it looks like we've got some pneumatic issues. The group's just over there and I think they're just putting air in. It didn't look like there was any real issues. Could be wrong, we'll see. Um, this is the Hampton Ridge. So this takes us to the Bombing Arrow and um, the cross of the Potting Shed at Hyde. I definitely have a puncher. And it's not sealing. So there it is. Yeah, I think it's going to stop. Yeah. All right, hopefully that's sealed. Fingers crossed. Come on, Stan's race, do the job for me. Nice and flowy through there. All the way across here, actually. <laughs> There's a couple of places where we excite the dogs, let's say. That's one of them. A shout going up for something. Something caught under his mud guard, I think. Do you know what? It's those mud guards. They get in the way. Yeah. <laughs> a mud guard issue, apparently. I'm not going to go into details. It's just mud guards, isn't it? Right, horses ahead. Morning. Hey. Well, I'm not normally at the front of the pack. 
makes a change. Now, I don't know why you might have thought that, but I thought that was actually quite a good use of the horn. That is what it's for, just to let people know you're there. And uh, it did the job, everybody was safe. No big deal. Did you see it differently? Maybe that's just because I'm predisposed to that kind of thinking. Maybe you saw that as, get out of the way! But they weren't really in a hurry. They weren't really racing, putting their foot down being annoying so I don't know what do you think they're just crossing a floodplain here Last time we came through here it was very flooded but uh, it's not too bad now, not too bad at all. Well, a little bit of a variation. Oh, okay, we're going a different way. Oh well. But that's okay. I'm up for something different. Bikes up. Morning. Morning. That must be unusual to have signets this time of year. Did you see them? There was two signets, wasn't there? They had Nookie at the wrong time of year. <laughs> oh, look at that for a cottage. Isn't that lovely? Woohoo! Slippy, slippy. And we all know what happens when I hit the mud too fast. No, me neither. And I didn't have the camera running, which was a bit of a shame. So, yeah, they were riding donkeys. So, Verwood Forest is um, very much managed. Different to the New Forest. Not so many native species of tree. A lot of fir style trees, as you can see. All right, horses ahead. Thank you. Thanks very much. It's very nice. Very peaceful. Just the sound of my tyres on the gravel. Phil goes from the back to the front and then takes a picture and then catches us all up. It's like a leapfrog. Nice windy little climb that one. Well, at least we've got traction on the hills this week. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, none of that slippy stuff. Not like last week. No. <laughs> hey Mike. Yeah. We've got to do some thank yous. We have. So we got some thank yous to do. We have. So thank you to Jamie. It was great to ride with you last week. And you are a superstar for buying us coffees. Thank you very much. We also want to thank Dan Hardesty, thank you again, thank you very much. That's it, another superstar with the coffees. And uh, Penny Carey, thank you. And I'm glad you're enjoying the, uh, the rides when you can't get out. <laughs> thank you very much. Mike made flapjack this morning, because I haven't made any of my energy balls for a while. I need to get back into the habit. You made me jump in your blood. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> so are we stopping at the potting shed for a coffee? I think so. We are, okay. I was going to be the other day. Yeah. I got a sandwich, two sandwiches and two coffees for 28 quid. What? Hello? Was that right? Yeah. Gee. Salad, bread, nonsense, whatever, I don't know. A little bit of road. And then we'll be heading back towards the new forest. And uh Possibly a coffee at the potting shed, we'll see. I definitely need a new cassette at the back. That said, this one is about... Well, it's gone through two winters, let's put it that way. go first he's bigger <laughs> I'm probably working too so time is money I'm missing my better half yeah. I don't know he didn't follow me well perhaps not missing him but it's possible isn't it yeah hopefully We'll catch them that way, or we'll catch them that way. <laughs> he probably turned right where we went straight on. You know, right, I said to you, so we normally go right. He, no, he, he went past there. I saw him, he disappeared yeah. off. He? Yeah. yeah them, he was on a mission. He was on a mission? He's on a bit of a mission. <laughs> oh well, he knows where he is. He's a big boy. I can definitely see a line of helmets over the top of the hedge there, so here they come. There he is! I have no idea. You're right there, Michael. We thought we'd lost you. Jesus Christ. Gee, Chris. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I can't quite smell it yet, but it's getting closer. Yeah. It's the start of the climb up to coffee. That's no problem. No problem at all. Quite a wide selection of hardware. Coffee and a cinnamon bun. And uh, off we go again. Ah, there we go. Look out for the local traffic. On your right. One more, one more. <laughs> oh, these gears are driving me nuts. <sighs> I'm sure it's just the cassette because it only happens on the uh, the smallest three or four cogs which of course are the ones I generally use
back at Fritham car park. <coughs> and uh, one more hill, and we're back to the car. This is always very popular here. It's always best to do this bit first. So that was the first hill that we went down this morning. Just off to the left here. And uh, this is why it's always good to get it out of the way early in the morning, because by lunchtime it is absolutely packed. Donkey. Oh, nearly back to the car. Sure, I haven't looked at my stats all day. I just had the map on my screen. There we go, let's look at the stats. Oh, actually done 30 miles. Didn't realise we'd done that far. Oh, quite pleased with that. Let's catch my cup. Bit of a chase to catch you. Ah. So you can't talk now. No. <laughs> so if you've watched this far into the video. <laughs> so if you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching us. Click the like button and join us for the next one.